Okay, so, Stefan Struve is potentially retiring. He hung up his gloves, technically, sort of, in the, um, in the post-fight interview, and, well, he said he'd think it over, but, uh, he might, it, this might be it for him, so I thought I would go on Undisputed 3, and, uh, have some fights with him. I'll, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to be fighting Gabriel Gonzaga, who is a grappler, and he has decent striking, I thought it'd be a good matchup, just to pay tribute, because he's at a, he's had a decent career, he got knocked out a few times, but, he, uh, he had, he, had a, he had a decent career. He had some good wins. So, yeah, of, of course, beat Stipe Miocic. Now, Stipe slipped, but still, he beat Stipe. I'm a little rusty uh, in terms of both gameplay and commentary. I haven't done it in a little while. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Struve obviously likes his strikes, but he hasn't been great at using his range. Although, his grappling is, is, is really good. So, we, we, might, we might look to try and utilize that tonight. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna work those kicks because they're very long. Okay. Yep. Trying to wing it. Nice jab, which is a rare thing for Stefan Struve. By the way, let me know if you want to see the fighter intros back. I cut them out this time just to see if, because uh, I don't know. I don't really want to do the all types of videos like this where it's just, I don't know. Maybe I'll put them in. I don't know. But let me know. Let me know if you want to see him back in future. Okay, I'm not sure what moves he has exactly. I know he has some front kicks. Does Struve. Low kick. Nice, nice. Of course, heavyweight ultimate AI simulation. As, as we do it. All that high kick. Obviously, he has a... a Gonzaga has a very... I think he might have a level... He has a level 3 Gonzaga head kick. Because that's the one he knocks out Croker with. Oh, uppercut. That hurts. Can't take too many of those at heavyweight on this game. Go for the high kick. Let me see if I can throw a front kick out the middle. There we go. Nice. Okay. The body kick, the front kick that you get after they block a low kick. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice uppercut. I like that. I would. I think Struve has the trip takedown. Yeah, he does. Okay. I want to try and take this to the ground. Just over a minute remains. Okay. Ah, okay. Struve has pull guard. Okay, we're doing okay. Struve is huge and has a big reach advantage, but... Well, we'll see if we can use it in this fight. We've been alright so far, but using our kicks. Oh, okay. We're up. Uh, okay. I thought he was bugged for a second, but no. Just a little uh, odd moment by the AI. Landed a nice straight. Oh, okay. He got right out of the way of that uppercut. That would have been would have been painful if it landed, but it didn't. So. Sometimes you need to mix in at least a threat of a takedown to open up your stand-up game. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick on. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. Also, I'm working on a video, which is why I wanted to get one out. I want, I want to get it out soon enough, or soon as possible. But it's taking a little while, because I'm, I'm doing something special for it. Uh, it's, it's a new series for Undisputed 3. I, side series type deal, it's nothing huge, but it's a cool little play on one of the modes in this game that I thought up. It'll be out soon enough. I'm, uh, I'm working, on a, working on some graphics for it, which are a recreation of some UFC graphics. But uh, yeah, I, I know I've been a little bit inactive recently, but... We'll get going again. Well, I'll get going again soon enough, don't worry.
But I wanted to put this out just as uh, something to bridge the gap. Okay, call that. Struve is a little bit slow, which is which is not because he's so big. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can go for a jab low kick. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Clinched. We're saving our skin. Nope. Oh, I thought I reversed that. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, let's just block a punch. Oh, he's got the he's got the uh, hip escape. Oh, uh, that's very nice in this game. Oh, oh, we got a Kamora catch. Let's see. We're not gonna get it, but uh, we can give it a go. Ah. Yeah. Oh well. There we go. Reversed. Oh. Get some ground and pound down. Yep. Reversed. Okay. Okay. Ooh. See if we can... There you go. I want to get... Well, I wanted to uh, either posture up, but I guess I couldn't do that. Okay. No posturing up this round. That's okay. Striking skills from both fighters in that round. Absolutely, Mike. It'll be interesting to see if they keep it on the feet in the third. Okay. You've got to stay on balance, you've got to keep moving forward while you're punching. And you can't stop in one place, okay? When you're done punching, you're moving, okay? Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This is a pretty vicious counter, perfectly timed. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here's that submission escape. Great display of ground defense here. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking for... Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the also, one more thing. Uh, I have a poll on the community tab of my channel. It's just to gauge the interest of viewers. I know there's a couple guys that... Uh, I don't know if I should call it dedicated fans. I mean, they're close friends that like to watch. And I know there are a couple of viewers out there uh, on my channel that are dedicated viewers. But I just want to gauge overall, like, what do you watch my channel for? MMA, primarily just MMA. MMA, but I like the personality. MMA plus variety, and I like personality. All that kind of There's three options on there, so. But I try to make them encompass a good few options. Oh, he's gassed. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is good. Low kicks. I'm going to go for a fun kick up the middle. No, I'm not. I'm going for a high kick that missed. Oh. We're, we're, we're doing okay there. We, we, we've... Well, I keep saying we. You know what I mean. I've, I've managed my stamina pretty well. Just sticking with the kickboxing. Yeah, he hasn't got much left in the tank. Chap to the body. Ah. There we go. Let's see if we can pull guard. No. You know, I really want... Yeah, there we go. I didn't want to pull guard. I want to get to... There we go. There we go. Okay. Yep. He reversed. Oh, ho, ho. That's a nice overhand over the sop. But I also... That's smart. I think Shrub has rubber guard. 
Ah, he reversed. Ow, I don't like that. And sweep. That was a really nice sweep. It is slower though than the um than the Carwin sweep that he has from half guard. Why Carwin has a half guard sweep, I don't know, but he does. Oh, ah! I should have gone after him more. I was expecting a transition. Reversed. Okay, I thought I reversed that as well. All right, Gabriel, I'll see you. Mmm, that uppercut. There we go. Bang. There's some good damage there. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Tried to get aggressive at the end. That's it. It went three rounds. I don't know who won. I think we won that, though. I think we won, but shit, actually, now I think about it. That was a close fight. That was a close fight. Because he rocked me. And I, was, I, I wasn't being... Uh, I wasn't pressuring, but... Well, I was pressuring a tiny bit now here, here and there, but... I don't know, man. Tough fight to score. But definitely won round three, that's for sure. And then, bang, uppercut. Did some damage. Hmm. Let's see. The judges have rendered their decision. And here is Bruce Got my eyes closed as always. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and I think we won it. 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Oh. Okay. They said he won two rounds. Fair enough. Sorry, Stefan, I couldn't do you proud on this one. I tried, but... I think I was a little bit too passive. Let's check the stats. Mm. Well, honestly, though, I did more... He, uh, he had more damage everywhere. I did more head damage. I did some decent leg damage, though. Man, he threw 141 strikes and I landed 33. He got two takedowns though. I only got I got none. So probably the takedowns. We rocked each other once. Yeah, more dominant positions. I had more transition reversals though. Ah well, I'll try. Maybe we'll get another one in uh, another day. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. I hope you all, I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, let me know if you uh, want to see a specific matchup on this game because I'll just put it together. I'll get it done. But anyway, until next time. Take care.